Hi, my name is Cassidy Loft, and I'm currently a junior at St. Lawrence University studying history and African studies. This summer, I've been working as a junior fellow on a project within the African section of the African and Middle Eastern division called Uncovering Poetry in African Languages, along with my colleague Sarah Baluta and project mentor Edward Miner. Throughout this summer, I have focused on surveying a large collections of African poetry, scanning them to find words in poetry within African languages to help create a thesaurus. While working on this project, I've noticed how sociolinguistic factors play into the languages and language codes that are used to identify certain words relating to poetry. Sociolinguistics is the study of how language and its structure are shaped by society and the culture it's surrounded by or interacts with. Within sociolinguistics, poetry can be considered a register or type of language used in a specific setting or for a particular purpose. Many within the United States may not be aware of sociolinguistics or the impact they have on communities and their identities as the US is dominated by the English language. However, this is not the case for the majority of African countries as they are vastly multilingual with tens to hundreds of languages and dialects all serving to connect personal, national, and ethnic identity. Although this connection cannot be reduced one-to-one -one, as most people living within African countries are multilingual themselves with complex identities. One example is that of the word found in Tishwa. Tishwa is a dialect that can be categorized amongst various groups, regions, etc such as a dialect or alternative name for Tishwa, a language in Mozambique with a language code of TSC. Another is a dialect of Tishau, a language in Botswana with the language code of HIO. Depending on the word, region, and ethnic group, the dialect being used can therefore determine the language that the word falls under, thus connecting the language, dialect, and the cultural identity of a specific word. In the case of my project this summer, a connection between poetry and identity through language can be made as much of the poetry I have encountered is a sociolinguistic factor itself. While at the National Museums of Kenya, various languages, dialects, and vernaculars were also used to help give cultural identity to objects within the collections through their names. For instance, something as simple as a gourd could be identified as belonging to Kisi or Luo, based off the word being used to identify the gourd. Tying back to the project that I've been working on this past summer, it can be seen that language is a fundamental yet complex aspect of culture. This connection can be seen within sociolinguistic factors of words within African languages relating to poetry throughout this project. My time as a junior fellow at the Library of Congress has been an enriching and fulfilling experience, allowing me to gain insights into research methods, collections, and much more that will help me in my future. I've cherished my time here at the library and I found this to be a wonderful experience that I will keep with me for the rest of my life.